vlog welcome we are currently in Norway we have been here for four days the weather has changed look at this it's raining you can like explain why crazy. you're sitting in the back and why I'm sitting in the oh front. yeah I can actually this is a crazy story so basically my chair is sitting there yo 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 yeah. my husband by the way if you don't know and the story is Machi took the car yesterday and went to play some football with some friends and then left <laughs> the car window open for the night and it started raining at really two bad, like, like really, really bad. bad. Like it was just it was loud inside the house. And at 2 a.m. he was like <gasps> I didn't close the window in the car. So he ran in his little like rain boots and in my coat and the seat is completely wet, but thank God, like it's not too bad. Hopefully, it'll dry. But yeah, it wasn't good at all. Hopefully, it'll be better. Now it's like super hot in the car. We're just driving to do some shopping in the most expensive city in the world. <laughs> yeah, country. But we want to just have a look. Look at the maybe some fragrances there look at some fashion here because you know Norway is an expensive country they've got good quality stuff especially fashion but they've got good sales also on these expensive items so I want to see if there's any sales on Acne Studio stuff or like the sweater stuff because I love the Scandinavian sweaters and all their brands they make really nice sweaters so yeah we'll have a look and we'll see you there Only in Norway. Imagine being in the UK, you're walking to a store, like a normal shopping hall, and people asking for coffee. I mean, that's amazing. Only in Norway. They've got Cana Barcelona even. Replica. Look at this. Amazing. Never happened when I lived here. This is my gym fragrance. I wear it almost every day to the gym. I swap it with other designer fragrance, but... This is yeah, amazing. It's really good, uh, easy going. I wear it often, just like when I'm at home also. Amazing. They've got even, they don't have the newest, um, oh is this Wood for Happiness? No, Wood for Greatness. They don't have the newest in your shoes, but oh, I mean, good. that is progress. I've never seen Park and Mali here when I lived here. going back to the house now 
I tell you what, this trip was super refreshing and I feel like myself a little bit more here in Norway because that was like, I was in my element just like going and seeing kind of Scandinavian fashion shops and they always have such nice displays and such nice collection, selection of stuff and I was kind of saving some money to buy a either like an acne uh, scarf or acne sweater or something like that so I was very purposeful on this trip and I got myself a sweater so I'll show you when I um, get back home I just love Scandinavian fashion we also I love seeing how the whole shopping mall has improved so so much there's so much more selection when I lived here there wasn't as much stuff available as like you saw niche fragrances crazy that they're available now here in Norway in Olesund I'm so happy for my fellow fragrance uh, obsessed people here in Norway they're probably very very happy too maybe you're an Olesund person and you never knew so maybe then I showed you I loved a couple of scents I check out I actually sprayed the new well it's not that new anymore a uh, La Belle Parfum Intense from Jean Paul Gaultier and I really like it I really like how sweet and dense and heavy it is it's super 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 heavy but I love it especially for winter those fragrances they let just latch on onto like sweaters and scarves and I know I shouldn't probably be spraying them on my clothes but I do anyway I'm guilty of that Mati doesn't like it I love it then I also I'm testing on my skin Ambre Sur Sud I think from Cana Barcelona which I really really like it's more like a denser fragrance again let me just change my arms oh it's nice it's oh, very oh, there's a fishing rod behind you <laughs> yeah very Norwegian <laughs> it's very dense and resinous I just really like it and it's more of a unisex scent I would say much more of like whoever wants to wear it just wear it yeah best shopping experience you can get is in Norway it's there is not a lot of people so whenever you walk into a store you get you get the, the full attention if you like it if not you just say that you yeah. know, you're just looking but yeah I, I got a coffee like the guy offered me a coffee I mean how cool is this I'm jealous because I didn't get one <laughs> he wanted to keep me happy so I'm not going to rush you so you can buy more stuff I guess it's yeah a kind of technique you can use yeah but I love it it's, it's there's there are no crowds you're just chilling I love it back home we just got back uh, we're going to have some food and much is going to see his friend but uh, I wanted we were talking about something so I wanted to tell you because I reminded myself actually funny story when we lived here about four or five years ago I remember thinking like what am I going to do with my life <laughs> you know existential questions of people like I always thought really deep and hard of about what I wanted to do but then I wasn't decided I wanted to do so many things but anyway I had a phase where I thought I really really want to have a uh, niche fragrance store in Olesund I remember like being really into it trying to research stuff and that was before I had anything to do with fragrance like publicly I um, didn't have a fragrance channel or anything like that but there wasn't a niche fragrance store here in Austin so I thought I wanted to uh, have a place where people who love a fragrance could meet and discover fragrances and it would be something a bit different and I like Pinterested all these um, pictures of what the store could look like I had a name which I'm not going to say because maybe someday like I'll, I'm going to use this name in something but I remember just walking I had my daily walk on Axla, which is a mountain in, well, a hill kind of mountain, a viewpoint in Olesund, and that was my daily walk. 
and I would think like, okay, what do I want to do? But then in the end, it didn't happen. But who knows? <laughs> like we don't live here, but who knows? Maybe someday it would happen. I would love for that to happen here because I think there is just such potential. For example, in Birmingham where we live, there's loads of niche fragrances everywhere. But here, there's not many. Like, and now that I saw niche section in Frederick and Louisa, a like a boots or hmm, more high end than boots, but like in a drugstore, kind of high, more high end drugstore. I was so happy that there is a place, but still, the amount of fragrance choices, even from the line, each line, not every single fragrance from the line is there, so there's still, I think, space for that to happen. But yeah, I just thought it was funny that I even forgot about it, that I even had that idea um, and it kind of brought me back to the space where I'm here, I have a fragrance channel now, uh, which I never thought I would have in a million years, and I'm going fragrance smelling, which I used to do all the time here, living here. I used to work in like a fashion store and I would go like after my work or sometimes like on the weekends I would go and spend hours in fragrance stores and I was so embarrassed I remember because they would recognize me so I would go to two <laughs> in Olsen and I would alternate so it wouldn't be too much but I'd go there and like smell fragrances a couple of the times so it's not too much because I was afraid to, sm uh, to spray too much but yeah just nice to know that you know, sometimes passions can really turn into jobs and like hobby jobs that are just so, so fun. And I'm so thankful that that happened to me because I would have, I, with stuff in life, I don't know about you, but so many things that I have planned never turned out and things that have happened I would never plan in a million years I would never have thought I said I would never live in Norway I lived in Norway I said I would never have a fragrance channel I have a fragrance channel because I didn't think I could I was knowledgeable enough or you know how those internal thoughts always happen now let me just show you the jumper that I bought uh, so, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see it styled because you'll probably see it there all the time. It's Monica underscore Cho, which is my name. So, this is the lovely and so soft acne sweater. I love acne sweaters. I'll link this one for you guys too so you can check it out. The softness of this sweater. It's like a pillow. It literally is the best thing ever. It's got, of course, the pink Acne Studios tag, which always I feel like it's going to fall off. So I try to put it back on with a thread and needle. And it's actually, I'm going to um, say that this is, well, it's obviously, it's extra, extra small, but it's so oversized. Guys, I've got super long arms and usually stuff is too short on me. This, this sleeves are still very, very long on me and it's still oversized, it's just shorter. I tried the S on and S is like really, really oversized and really nice and cozy, but I chose to go for extra, extra small. So if you want a more cropped look with long still arms then I would go for XX small so go like a size smaller than you would usually arm is small usually in tops and it's just the softest softest sweater and acne studio stuff lasts forever but I'm not going to wash it in a um, like a normal washing machine anymore because I've destroyed far too many sweaters like that and I'm going to and wash cold so I'm going to do that because I recently learned how to properly wash my sweaters like more special sweaters and uh, so it's 38% nylon 30% wool 28% more hair and 4% elastane and I like blends like that they have got a bit of like polyester or something in it because then it makes it shrink less which you know wool can do but it's still it's super super warm super soft and it's one of these things that I'll have for years to come 
I've got, for example, my beanie here from Acne Studios that I've had for four years now. I still wear it all the time. It's super good quality. It's just one of my favorite hats ever. So I highly recommend stuff like that. So I'll link it down for you guys. And also, if you like sweaters like that, I highly recommend you checking out Samsa and Samsa. I'll link them down below. They've got amazing sweaters. It's a Scandinavian brand, They're very popular here. I used to have loads of sweaters from them, but I sadly shrunk them. I'm just horrible with that. So I'm not washing my sweaters in a washing machine anymore. So I'll link Samsa and Samsa for you guys down below let me know what other vlogs you'd like to see i hope you enjoyed this norwegian vlog subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you all again very soon guys bye <laughs>